हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल श्रेयास ई लर्निंग In this video, we will cover following topics. So let's see. So we will cover concepts of symmetric key ciphers, Kirchhoff's principle, cryptanalysis, and its four types. So we will see traditional symmetric key ciphers. But before that, we will see symmetric key ciphers in detail. So we will see using diagram. So here, Alice is a sender and Bob is a receiver. The plain text is a message which Alice wants to send to Bob. So Alice encrypts the message using the encryption algorithm which requires a shared key. So the key is same for Alice and Bob. So after encryption algorithm we get the cipher text which is transmitted through the channel to the Bob. Bob decrypts the cipher text to get the plain text using decryption algorithm which also requires the key so here key is exchanged using the secure channel and the cipher text is transmitted via this insecure channel so basically decryption algorithm is inverse of encryption algorithm so we retrieve the plain text so we refer encryption and decryption algorithm as ciphers and this key is set of values or numbers that this cipher that is algorithm operates on so here we can see that if p is plain text and c is cipher text and k is the key so while encryption we get the cipher text using encryption algorithm which uses the key and it is operated on the plain text and decryption is we get the plain text which uses decryption algorithm using the same key k and it operates on cipher text so the sender side cipher text is created that is ek operated on plain text and at the bob side that is receiver side the plain text is obtained using decryption algorithm which operates on the cipher text here decryption algorithm and encryption algorithm are inverses of each other they cancel each other's effect if they are applied one after another on the same input that is same input is plain text now we will see kirchhoff's principle so sometimes it may appear that if we hide encryption decryption algorithm and secret key then we can gain more security but it is not recommended so based on kirchhoff's principle one should always assume that intruder knows the encryption decryption algorithm and the resistance of cipher to attack must be based only on secrecy of the key that is guessing the key should be so difficult that there is no need to hide the encryption and decryption algorithm let's move to cryptanalysis so as we all know that cryptography is science and art of creating secret codes so cryptanalysis is the science and art of breaking those secret codes so cryptanalysis is not to break other people's codes but to learn how vulnerable our crypto system is so the study of cryptanalysis helps us create better secret codes there are four types of cryptanalysis attacks first is cipher text only next is known plain text next is chosen plain text next is chosen cipher text let us start with cipher text only attack so it will be easy to understand using diagram so here this is the sender that is alice bob is the receiver and eve is the intruder so here we assume that intruder that is eve knows the algorithm and as the name suggests cipher text only attack so eve has access to some of the cipher text and eve tries to find the corresponding key and the plain text so the cipher text only attack is the most probable one because eve needs only 
the cipher text for this attack to prevent the decryption of the message by intruder a cipher must be resisting to this type of attack there are various methods that can be used in cipher text only attack first is brute force attack it is also called as exhaustive key search method where the intruder tries to use all the possible keys also we assume that eve knows the algorithm and knows the key domain that is a list of all possible keys so using intercepted cipher eve decrypts the cipher text with every possible key until the retrieved plain text makes sense so using brute force attack is a very difficult task in the past but it is easier today using computer to prevent this type of attack the number of possible keys must be very large second is statistical attack here the intruder has a benefit from some inherent characteristics of the plain text language to launch a statistical attack that is example from the letters e is the most frequently used letter in english text so the cryptanalysis finds the most used character in the cipher text and assumes that corresponds to the plain text character e and after finding the few pairs the analyst can find the key and use it to decrypt the message to prevent this type of attack the cipher should hide all the characteristics of language next is pattern attack so some ciphers may hide the characteristics of the language but may create some patterns in the cipher text a cryptanalyst may use a pattern attack to break the cipher therefore it is important to use the cipher that makes cipher text look more random and no pattern can be seen next we will see known plain text attack here the intruder eve has access to the previous pairs of plain text and cipher text also eve intercepted the cipher text which she wants to break for example alice sent some secret message to bob and has later made the contents of the message public so eve kept both the previous pairs of cipher text and plain text to use to break the next secret message assuming that alice sent the message to bob using the same key so that with the help of that and also the previous pair eve can intercept this cipher text assuming alice not changed her key so eve uses the relationship between previous pair to analyze the current cipher text but this is very less likely to happen because alice may have changed her key or may have not disclosed her previous messages so next is chosen plain text attack it is very much similar to the known plain text attack but here the plain text and cipher text pairs have been chosen by the attacker herself so this can happen when eve has access to the alice computer she can choose some plain text and intercept the created cipher text but may not have access to the key because key is normally embedded in the software by the sender next is chosen cipher text attack so it is similar to chosen plain text attack except that the intruder that is eve chooses some cipher text from the cipher text plain text pair at the receiver so this can happen if the intruder have access to the receiver's computer and in my next video we will start with categories of traditional ciphers hope you liked my video do like share and subscribe my video and click the bell icon for more updates and comment below your doubts and suggestions thank you